given way to a beautiful evening and a fantastic matchup. A couple of first place teams, stars galore. It's the Cubs and the Mets on ESPN. Two of the very best teams in baseball since May 1st. The Cubs start the night time with Milwaukee atop the Central. They own the most home wins in the National League. They come in off the sweep of the rival Cardinals and two of three against Fernando Tatis Jr. and the Padres. The Mets lead the NL East. They have the best pitcher on the planet in Jacob DeGrom, but the entire staff really has been sensational. They've had to overcome a dizzying number of injuries, but they've weathered the storm, and their biggest star is starting to heat up. With former Cardinal and Marlon Xavier Scruggs and the great Tim Kirkshin from their home studios, Kevin Connors here in our ESPN studios in Bristol, Connecticut. Marley Rivera joins us in just a moment. Tim, these Cubs are red hot. Brian Rizzo, the stars, that's expected. But this pitching staff has really figured it out after a rough start to the year. Absolutely. The Cubs have the best record in the National League since May the 1st, and it's mostly because of their pitching. They did struggle in April, but since then, they have a staff ERA of 2.85. Now they've won five games in a row, and in those five games, they've allowed only nine runs. And tonight, they have Jake Arrieta going. He was really good in his last start. He had that really good hard sinker going. But let's face it, Kevin, over the last six weeks, basically all the Cubs pitchers have been really good, which is why they are tied for first in the NL Central. David Ross telling us pregame that Mariano was very promising last time out against the Padres. As for the Mets, amazing that they are here where they are. Mr. Mets sat on a wall. Mr. Mets had a great fall. 19 players on the IL at one point or another. Currently, J.D. Davis, Albert Almora, Michael Conforto, Brandon Mimmo are all out. Or Mrs. Betts sat on that same wall, and she landed on the I.L. as well. She's got company, Patances, Sindergaard, Carrasco, among the big names currently on the I.L. And yet, Xavier, these Betts have weathered the storm. They find themselves with a three-game lead atop the NL East. Pete Alonso has been terrific, and Francisco Lindor is really starting to get going. Yeah, throughout all those injuries, you think of the two biggest names in that lineup you need to produce, Alonzo and Lindor, and both of them are really starting to heat up. It's been really good so, so far for Alonzo. His numbers are a lot more similar to his rookie year than his 2020 season. He's also cut down on the strikeouts a bit. The polar bear's on a mission, and Lindor really turning his season around, started to relax at the plate, and now we're seeing him drive the baseball a lot more. Mets fans are starting to get their money's worth from Mr. Smile. $341 million deal in the uh, spring training. And, of course, Lindor beginning to heat up for a Mets team who's playing really well. We've got a terrific matchup in store. The first place Cubs, the first place Mets coming at you here in a matter of moments on ESPN. ESPN's telecast of Major League Baseball is presented by USAA Insurance, Auto Renters, and Home Insurance. Arietta and Peterson, first pitch from City Field after this.